The CEO of Norwegian believes it can become the leading airline in the Nordic region. That's a remarkable turnaround for the company, which filed for bankruptcy in 2020. Geir Carlsen is the chief exec. He's joined me at the Airlines for Europe conference last week. He told me he's targeting growth. The target is to be the leading airline in, the, in the Scandinavia and, and in the Nordics. And then we will offer a, you know, a good product to, to, from the Nordics to, to the rest of Europe. And if you, if you look at where we have been growing the last couple of years, it's actually throughout the network. So I think what you will see going forward is probably that we will grow mostly outside of the, of the Nordics. SAS becoming part of Air France KLM, leaving Star, joining Sky team. They will become a more formidable player because they will have greater resources against you. Yes, SAS is, is, is by far our biggest competitor and, and will uh, be the biggest competitor going forward as well. Um, you know, um, is the fact that they are leaving Star Alliance and going over to Sky Team, as you're saying, is that the positive or negative? Uh, to us, uh, you know, it's, I think it's, it could be a positive because the loyalty into, into uh, Star Alliance and the fact that they have been building that for so many years is, uh, is definitely a factor. It's too simple to say don't grow too fast and don't add long haul mm. and don't add uh, expensive wide body jets. But all airlines eventually end up doing the same mistakes. I think we are growing, uh, you know, cautiously. Um, and, 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 and as you have heard here today, I mean, it's, uh, now these days it's actually an issue to get, uh, you know, the aircraft you need because of the, you know, the late deliveries from from both, uh, both uh, Airbus and, 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 and Boeing. But I think uh, back in the days before the pandemic, I think Norwegian, yes, probably growing too fast, yes, but also uh, being faced with issues on the, on the wide bodies, on the Rolls-Royce engines. You had the MAX situation, uh, unfortunately, and then, you, and then you had a pandemic on top of it. So, so, so yes, probably a little bit too aggressive, but also f followed by, what should I say, you know, bad luck. And your own supply issues on planes and engines and uh, through the supply chain, how are you coping? No, we are, we are experiencing the same as, as the other guys. We have delays. We had delays last year, we have delays this year. And how bad? We, uh, 10 to 15 aircraft short compared to what we should have received as per today. And, and that will just continue. That's, that's how we believe it will, it will uh, you know, uh, uh, go, in the, not only in 2024, but most likely at least for the next couple of years. We have a 50 aircraft firm order with Boeing, uh, and we do expect delays. They're supposed to start delivering next year, but uh, you know, we will have delays. Do you still have confidence in Boeing? Uh, it's, it's, no, it's no doubt that they have to, they have to sort out uh, the, their issues, and, and their issues is, is uh, you know, massively public. Um, and, uh, and um, you know, we have concerns on the delivery going forward. We know the production rate um, and how it has been the last few months, and it is way too low. Um, and I think it will continue to be, to be low for a while. But as, e as you get each new aircraft, or as each new aircraft arrives, do you have confidence that they've built it properly? And we do, we do. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, Why? Because they're working, they're really working. And uh, you know, the 737 MAX 8 aircraft that we have taken delivery of, and we have been flying them for quite a while, it works. Uh, the crew like it, uh, you know, the pilots uh, like the aircraft, and, and uh, it's, a, it's a workhorse. And it has been around for, for you know, the 737 for a very long time. There's thousands of, of these aircraft flying uh, every single day.